Now, spring is the season for new fashion, and this season it's all about a bold lip. Yeah. Trudy's here to tell us what's on trend. Morning, Trudy. Morning. So, what is on trend? Look, it's colour. It's so exciting. Um, in terms of makeup, colour and sparkle, I would say, would be the biggest trends. And you can sort of see that in fashion stores now. You know, fabrics are sparkly, there's lots of colour around it. We're embracing it, which is great. Yeah, so what, what about the trend? Like, what should we be looking at? Look, I think right now it's really a pink or a red lip that's really dominant. I mean, there's still those lovely brownie tones around that New Zealanders love, but definitely pink, red, and a little bit of coral, which is also lovely in summer when you've got a tan. I've been um, stalking Instagram over the last few days, getting some lip looks. For yeah, that's, that's a distinct look right there. You take a certain sort of person to carry that one you off, do. wouldn't you? You uh, do. You do, but you know, anyone can wear a bold lip colour. So that would just be all over my... That would be all over my glass, it'll be all over everything, all not, over my face. Not with a day. liquid matte. Ha! Huh. So, so that. what should we do? Should we be going gloss or matte finish? Look, there's both. The gloss is more like a hybrid balm, which is, it stays put. You yeah. know, when the wind blows, your hair doesn't go track yeah. through it, which is always <laughs> awful, isn't it? Or it doesn't slide off into fine lines. And then the matte is actually more hydrating than it once was. Because, you know, when, like, 10 years ago when matte lipstick yeah. hit the scene, it felt like you had toast crumbs on your lips after 10 minutes. Mm. And it, it made so your dry. lips look like a 90 year old. Mm. Yeah, it was really dry. So now these beautiful matte lipsticks have got this great technology in them to make them hydrating. And what about if you're trying to ease yourself into wearing a bold lip, if you're sort of married to the whole nude thing? What I do, and I've done that myself today, I'm wearing this really, really bold velvet lip colour from Bobbi Brown, it was too bright for me, so I put a little bit on, blot it back, and then go over the top with a nude liner, so it actually knocks it's it nice. back. You know, it's so really it good. takes away that really stark red that you feel nervous to wear as you get a little bit older, and it, and it makes it a little bit more contemporary. And what about the rest of your makeup if you're wearing a bold lip? Well, I like to top and tail, so have nice bold <laughs> brows and a bold lip, or go quite subtle and glossy on the lip and play up the eyes. I mean, that's a classic makeup look, yeah. and you can't go wrong. I think the best makeup look for you is one that you're comfortable wearing. Mm. You know, if you feel good, then you're confident, aren't you? And lipstick's a great confidence booster. You know, it's one thing that you can put on easily and it can change your look. It doesn't cost that much. You have. So what have you got? So many I know. We should but there's a lot to through go these. through. But what do you want um, to start with? I bought them in couples and pairs so you can have a look at different colours. Let's start with Urban Decay. This is such a cool texture. It's called Lo-Fi and it's a lip mousse. So you put it on much like an eyeshadow. There's a little um, there's a little applicator there that you pull out and Ooh. you apply oh, it like an eyeshadow. Fancy. Um, and it just gives you that feathered like stain on the lips, which is beautiful. Max Factor have it's launched beautiful. the most clever, and I put a little bit of that on your lips, so you're wearing that colour, which is gorgeous. Clever um, colour elixir cushion, which is like a hybrid balm and a gloss, but it stays put. And it actually turns to be slightly matte after an hour of wearing it, so it doesn't slip off your lips. Balm and gloss, which like is those beautiful. ideas, beautiful. Um, MAC have just launched this week a product called Powder Kiss. Now, now this is beautiful. It is a matte lipstick, but what they've done is they've coated the matte pigments with moisturising oh, um, really nice. formulation. So it's really matte, but it doesn't feel like it on the lips. And it tastes delicious. It feels gorgeous. It sort of tastes like vanilla. It's beautiful. Do we cover these ones off? No, we haven't. So Shiseido have relaunched their entire collection. And this is their colour gel um, balm, lip balm. <gasps> That's Again, so smooth. Again, lasts for hours, doesn't slip into lines. Um, they've got like four different textures on counters at the moment. Ink, powder, um, sparkle, which is called Aura Dew, and this gel. But I bought this along too because it's an eye and a lip pencil from Shiseido. It's a brush. And it's called, sorry, an eye and a lip brush from Shiseido. It's called Precision Eye and Lip Brush, and you get a great line without having to use a lip Great, and we're running out of time, so let's quickly motor through these. Okay, so this is from Bobbi Brown, and this is their Velvet Luxe, which is Ooh. very matte, a gloss, but it lasts like a long-lasting matte lipstick. Great. And these ones from Feels Clarins nice. are these water ink stains, so they actually give your lip a stain rather than a gloss. So finish. it looks like a very bright cherry kind of, like a very yeah, bright pink thing. Yeah, but it goes on really soft so it just gives that beautiful soft stain like you've eaten a juicy plum or something and it stains your lips okay and this is and finally another one um from urban decay this is melted and it's a beautiful shimmer like a lip coat that you can put over a matte lipstick and that is that pretty color. spectacular hey thank you trudy i love playing with all your things for more beauty Perfect. know how you can check out trudy's website beautyeq.co.nz or you can look at my campaign here